Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over my favorites and fails for the month of March 2020. Before I do, I want to talk about something that's a little bit more on the serious side, a lot more serious. You can skip ahead if you'd like, but I really just want to talk to you guys. I couldn't even film yesterday because I woke up and I just had so much weight on my shoulders and in my heart and I don't I've, I've just felt like I haven't known what to do, what's the right thing to do, what's not the right thing to do, and I still feel like I am just failing people. The world is going through a crisis right now, and I don't want you guys to think that I don't care or that because I haven't made a dedicated video about it that I do not care. I hope you guys all know me well enough to know that I absolutely care. I care tremendously and I'm doing everything that I can do in order to help where I can. You know, I can't give blood. That is one way that you guys can help. And that's, I'm putting all this stuff on my community page, by the way, and I'll describe where that's at because I know some of you guys don't know. But some people can give blood. I can help in other ways. And I'm not broadcasting how I'm helping, but I am trying to help in the best ways that I know how to help, which to some is a sense of normalcy. And that's what I'm trying to keep here on my channel. And then I'm also trying to have the resources and my thoughts on what's going on on my community page. So if you haven't seen that, you can go to my just my regular page on YouTube and you can see videos at the top, playlists, and you'll also see community. On that community tab, you just click it and you'll see all kinds of things. I post things there. I'll ask questions and have polls. I also have been putting my thoughts about what's going on in the world and letting you guys know that I am thinking about you. And I know oh, thinking about you, that does a lot. I am doing things, I'm just not broadcasting everything out there because it's an uncomfortable thing for me to do. But I'm trying to put these other resources out there so you can see if you wanna be able to donate, there's places on my community page that you can do so. And I encourage you guys to let me know of other ways to help as well. Feedingamerica.org, that's a place that you guys can go if you would like to donate. Every dollar really does help. But I don't want you guys to think that this is not on my mind. I have a family as well. I have four kids that I am worried about. I have a husband. I have a mother with cancer. I know a lot of you guys know about that. And I'm not trying to pull like this like, oh, feel bad for me. I just want you guys to know that everybody is affected by this. Everybody, whether it is big or small, we are all affected by it. It's just in different ways. And for me, my coping mechanism is to be on here and to continue with this. This for me feels good. Makeup feels good. Playing in makeup, teaching, going back shopping my stash, letting you guys know my favorite things, letting you guys know what I think about products, you know, reviewing. But I never want you guys to think that what I'm doing is ignoring a situation or that I'm out and about doing whatever. I'm not, I'm not going on vacations. I'm not, I'm in my house. I'm in my house with my kids. I'm filming and this is what makes me happy. I love to do this, but I don't want you guys to think that I am pushing products on you or, or that you need to be spending money or doing anything like that right now. Do not go into debt. Do not put your family at risk or anything like that for makeup or anything just frivolous. It's not worth it. When I'm doing these videos, I'm not telling you guys to go purchase X, Y, and Z. I'm just giving you guys my thoughts whenever I'm doing my reviews. And then when I'm going and I'm ranking my shadow palettes, telling you guys my favorite brushes or whatever I'm doing, even if it's reviewing a product, it really is just information and fun and playing and just getting the bad stuff off of your mind for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes of just something else, you know, a distraction. And that is what I want is to be a nice distraction. I want to be here for you all in any way I possibly can be. I'm going to continue to post on my community page, you know, ways that I've been able to find to help out that you guys can check out and also letting you guys let me know of different ways to help out and letting others know. And I'm also going to be keeping my channel and keep uploading the way I have been so that I can be a distraction and that 
for my own mental sanity as well. This right here, this little spot is my sense of everything is okay for however long I am sitting right here before I have to go back to reality. The majority of my comment section has been so sweet, so supportive, everybody supporting one another and wishing everybody well, but there's been a few that have been extremely hurtful. And normally I wouldn't even talk about that, but please just keep things nice. This is a time where we should be supporting one another and not assuming things about people. I mean, I've seen it on other people's pages as well, just some really nasty things being supposed about people that I personally know that you just don't, you don't know what people are going through. We are all in this together. And the only way we're going to get through this is together. All right. With that being said, I'm going to woo saw it out for a second and then we will get into my favorites. I'm going to start off with something that Wayne Goss made me buy. <laughs> I feel like, you know, when I think about something cheery, I think about Wayne. So I looked down and I saw this particular item and I was like, this is, this is going to cheer me right back up. <laughs> <laughs> and the th <laughs> my husband's um, reaction to this was priceless. So I don't know if you guys all saw, but I did a video on Wayne's channel talking about all the things that Wayne has made me purchase. And I had not gotten this yet, but this came shortly after that video. I saw him talking about this device. Now this is called the Derma Flash. Or what is it called? Oh my goodness, hold on. It is the Derma Flash Derma Pore Ultrasonic Pore Extractor and Serum Infuser. So, what he did <laughs> to absolutely make me go out and run and purchase this was again, I'm not telling you guys to, I just feel so guilty every single time I think about saying those words. Um, anywho, uh, this he was talking about it getting the little spot like at my pores on my nose, they always end up with funk in them. And then sometimes on my chin, my pores right here, generally they stay pretty clear. They are enlarged, but they stay pretty clear. My nose, however, I have tried those pore strips and they do get the gunk out, but I feel like it damages my skin and it can actually make it feel like sandpaper. Sometimes it makes it break out. So I uh, it's like I'm a love-hate relationship with those because it's instant gratification, but then I feel ramifications later. So he was talking about this, and I thought that you were really going to have to scrape in order to get the gunk out of the pores. And I watched the QVC like video, all this stuff, where they were taking this. You turn it on. Let me see if you guys can hear it. That's one. Like That's the one that will do the little extracting, and this push the button the second time it's to help infuse skincare. I don't do that. I just don't have time for that. <laughs> I just use this for the extracting properties and it's so light. You just take it and run it along your skin. It has to be wet. I initially thought that there was no way this was going to work unless you had just taken a shower, you had gotten your pores open and all that, but no, this literally will work with just your skin wet. Now on the QVC commercial, they did all this stuff. They're like, oh, we had our models wash the fa their faces with um, makeup wipes, I believe they said. So then I'm immediately, I'm like, I'm not listening anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but they were taking this and going all over and just getting more makeup off and this and that. Let me tell you, I double cleanse my face. I don't need this to get any extra makeup out of my pores or anything like that. So they were showing it and showing like, oh, I didn't get all the makeup off and you know, it was coming out. Well, you used a makeup wipe and that's it. But anywho, <laughs> this I am not using it for that purpose, but I take this on that first little button right there. You press it and it's that constant pulse or ultrasonic whatever. And I go right on the sides of my nose, up the top of my nose, and then I will sometimes go right here. Oh my gosh, it is so satisfying to see the oil come out, the little blackheads come out. Oh, I love it so much. I use it once a week and my nose has stayed so much more clear. 
I love this. This is amazing. Puffing comes in while I'm in this mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, my eyes are huge. I'm a spray bottle. I'm spraying my face. And uh, he got close to like, because that's just water coming out. And then he got even closer and I showed him the tip of it. And then I went over the top part of my nose and the, uh, the little stuff came out. It's like gross, but it's so satisfying. <laughs> and then he took it. He cleaned it off with alcohol and then he did it. He was in the bathroom up against the mirror for a solid 20 minutes, just going to town, like everywhere. And he... I had to tell him where this was. I said, okay, so whenever you want to use it, it's in this drawer over here. This works. This works so well. And it doesn't make me break out after, you know, I've done whatever, you know, gone through everything. It doesn't make my nose dry. It doesn't, it doesn't mess with my skin at all other than to get the funk out. I'm so impressed with this thing. I love it. And Puffin loves it too. And, and Wayne loves it. So there's that. This product was sent to me from Kogendo and I am in love with this. I can't set all over my face, but I take it down the center of my face or I use it to buff like I did today. This is the Kogendo Brightening Moisture Powder. It comes with a little brush right here, but I've already taken it out. And then this is the powder. It has this little swirl. It's really, really bright. So this is not going to work on all skin tones. It's supposed to be translucent, but I'm telling you this is, this is pretty, pretty bright. I use it to brighten up either the center of my face or I will go all over. I've used this for just a really natural highlight. It's so beautiful. I just... I can't believe how beautiful this is. If you're somebody who does not want to set the entire face and you want to just go down the center and you want to have a little bit of glow without sparkle, this. Or if you want highlight without sparkle, this. It's I'm, I'm in love with it. I am so in love with this. Now, if you want a little bit more of that highlighted look going on, Ofra and Samantha March has got you covered. I love her entire collection that she just released. They are beautiful. But for me, my favorite product is this right here. And I, I, I've had this. I had it. Um, I purchased it when she first came out with her initial collection. And this is called the March Beauty Word Highlight. But then her new one, Oh, it's in my drawer. I'll leave the name of it here. It's the same highlight, but it doesn't have the same name. It's so lovely. If you guys can see, you have this ivory and pink section. You can use them separately. Beautiful. But I like to just swirl them together and then apply. I always go in and soften everything, but this is blinding. I'm going to show you guys just a little swatch of them. Look at this. It's blinding, and I can definitely get that on my cheeks. Oh, and if you went in with this wet, it would be even more so. But I like to go on with it, and then I like to take the Kogan Doe powder and just kind of go over everything. And I have this really glowy look, and it's like lit from within, but then also when you add in this highlight, it's just like the ping that you needed. I don't know. I'm feeling the combination. I'm here for it. I've been using it and just really happy with those. You guys haven't seen me use this yet, but I got to talk about it. We, we got to talk about this. I wore this, I believe in my last video, I talked about this in my purchase or past and I, I said I wasn't going to pick up the palette from Melt Cosmetics. I think it's the Rust palette, but this, I had to have this. I like their liner formula. It's much thinner and it stays put, and this is no exception. So this is Burnish. It's an ultra matte gel liner. This is what it looks like, but I wanna show you something really quickly because this is the bee's knees. I'm gonna take the Pillow Talk liner, the eyeliner. This was in my favorites last month, and it's a uh, definitely still a favorite. This is what Pillow Talk looks like, but I wanna go ahead and kind of buff it out a little bit so that I can put the other liner right on top. I really wish I had shown you guys this look, but I didn't. Anywho, take the Pillow Talk liner, go all along your lash line, smudge it out just like this, and then take the Melt liner and line right underneath it with it, like right at the lash band, and then you can flick it out as well. I did this with one shadow, I used this liner and then this one to make this just smoked out wing with this kind of brownish red color wave and it was gorgeous. I started thinner and then went thick with it. Oh, it's it's just 
It's perfection. I love this so much. And neither one of those liners move. They both stay in place. But I'm so glad that I got my hands on this because I love this color. I've really been enjoying it, obviously, because I was already using the Pill Talk, but so good. So good. I know you guys have heard me rave and all my adoration for the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. I'm still loving that one. I talked about it in my top 10 favorite mascaras that I'm currently loving. And I also talked about this one. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Lash Brag Mascara. I had to remember that. <laughs> this was also sent to me just so you guys know, but this is so good. It is so good. I have it on right now. I'm loving it more and more and more as time goes on and the bottle, you know, as it ages just a little bit. I compared these in my video talking about my favorite mascara. So if you're curious about that, I would definitely check that out. It, these are like my two top two right now. I just want to let you guys know that I have been continuously grabbing for this just in case you haven't seen those videos. The new Shoe Shoe palette from Viseart. Thank you, Viseart. This just, looking at this brings me joy. Looking at this and seeing the colors and just knowing, like, it's 80 degrees outside today. It was 75 yesterday. It's 80 degrees today. And I'm just like, yes. I think it's going to be 65 all next week. But still, I had my two days. <laughs> looking at this just makes me so excited for the warmth. And there's something that's just a little different about this. So you have your warm tones in here that are just like your everyday colors. You take out these and there you go. You got your everyday look, but you also have this beautiful, very, very pigmented pink. This coral is neon, absolutely stunning. And then this silver right here is like metal. It looks like metal. Do a little drag down my finger. Look at this. Mm -hmm. And then this shade right here is my favorite. It's a duochrome. It's like peach, pink, green, a little bit of gold, coral, whatever. They're so pretty. They are so pretty. This palette does not disappoint. It's just fun. It puts you in a good mood. And I don't feel like you have to be dedicated to wearing color to have this palette. It just gives you the option. And I just like, I like the ones that they chose to put together. Great job, Viziart, great job. One more palette, more on the natural side, is the Making Moves from ColourPop. I am so glad I picked this up. This is straight up my alley. These are cool tone mauves. And it just, so, Pretty. I did two different looks using this palette. This right here, it, it this this gives me the feels like the everyday beautiful, mauvey cool feels. I'm into it. And I this right here, this shocked me. What color are you? Big moves. This I thought was going to be a little dusty or not pigmented. You have to watch the video. This color right here actually gets just a little bit deeper on the eyes. And it has pigmentation, blendability, blendability, everything. Every single color in here is beautiful. And I'm going to show you these three right here. I actually really like, um, what is it called? Tongue Tied. That one is a matte with a little bit of shimmer in there. You don't really see the shimmer, but, oh, shoot. I still have some of the uh, uh, Vizzy Art on there. Oh, well. I'm just going to drag these down my fingers real quick so you can see these. They're so gorgeous. They're so gorgeous. It is an everyday palette. And if you don't want to spend the money on something like the Huda Beauty or anything like that, this is much cheaper. This is uh, $14 and great, great quality. I'm not going to say that they're exact same, but I'm just saying if you would like to save some money that this is a really, really great option. Blush. I have been into a lot of blushes here recently and I'm not mad at it because I feel like for a long time you just weren't getting different formulas of blushes or colors or anything that was really that interesting or that good. And now I feel like MAC is killing it. NARS is killing it. So many brands are just upping the game when it comes to blushes. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it, you guys. I really am. This is the Darling Duo from Jouer. I know I wanted to grab this because I love Adore Me so much. Let me get that one. It's actually called Adore. One of the shades is Adore Me. <laughs> All right, so this is the Adore. And I thought, you know, this is going to be just a little bit lighter, and that's exactly what it is. 
oh, I hope you guys can see on camera. This shade right here is a little bit more on the peachy side, whereas this one is a little bit more neutral. This one's more pink, and this one is more peach on the Adore side. <laughs> I'm gonna get these so mixed up. This one is lighter than the Adore though, so this one will work like on medium skin tones. This one will not. I have it on right now. I'm an NC25, but that's what I like about it is that it's so light. I can sit here and build it up because I can go a little cray cray <laughs> with the blushes sometimes. But these, let me show you a swatch of each of the colors. Those are it right there. I just like to pop them both together. I just mix them. It gives you a very, very slight sheen. It's not completely matte, but it's not anything that's going to, you know, give you texture or anything like that. If you like Jouer's blushes, you will enjoy this. And anybody who is fairer, who is looking for a lighter blush, this is it. It's so pretty. It's so natural too. Oh, so good. La Mer The Mist. I have another one here because I lost this. Long story short, I was supposed to go to Florida. I had several things packed and then I had to unpack everything and I could not find certain things. Like they just ran away. <laughs> Obviously I found it, but I ended up getting another one and I had gone through part of this because I couldn't find this one. The only reason why I showed you the other one was just so that you guys could see that if I had not lost this <laughs> temporarily, this would probably already be gone. The La Mer The Mist is something that I already knew I liked because I talked about it. I liked it whenever I worked at Nordstrom, but I always just went over and I sprayed <laughs> the La Mer's, you know, I took theirs. I worked there, you know, whatever I would use theirs. Obviously I don't work at Nordstrom anymore. And I finally got one. Beautylish sent one to me. I've already gone through that one and I would have already gone through this one as well but yeah, we already went through that. What I'm trying to get to, if I could just spit it out, is that this hydrates my skin so beautifully. Spray my sponge. I like to take this and I will just pounce it on to my skin. It helps to make all the powder sink in. It gives me a nice healthy glow. I, I, Mm, I have no words. I love it so much. And I feel like it's actually doing things for my skin. Like I'm noticing changes in my skin that I'm really happy with. And I think it has a little something, something to do with this. Moving on to the too cute category. <laughs> I can't help but to get happy whenever I see this. It's so cute. <laughs> it's the Too Faced Sun Puppy Bronze Limited Edition Bronzer. And I can guarantee you that these little dots that are on the front of this are probably my La Mer spray. <laughs> so... First off, I bought two because I wanted it to be like a collector's thing. I love the whole line that they do with all this stuff. It's just so cute. But look, I have been using this and using this and using this. I have it on today. And you can swirl, 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 swirl. I'm, I'm just going to put this right back and use it next time. <laughs> but look, it doesn't go anywhere. The puppy face stays there. And it's the best thing ever. This is so cute and it works. So it's not a product that it's just like, oh, it's got a cute embossing on it and then it's gone. This stays through and the product is like this perfect glowy bronzer that's not too glowy, but it's not matte either. It blends out beautifully. The colors, when you put them all together, it's just really, really gorgeous. Ooh, I have something that is not makeup related that I wanna share with you guys. And this is exciting because Okay, Puffin has this extensive collection of Ray-Bans. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice still. Mm -mm. He has this huge collection of Ray-Bans. He has ones that he's custom made to go along with his KTM motorcycle, all this stuff. Well, I've always been a little jealous because Ray-Ban aviators usually don't fit on my face because I have a really tiny head. I'm not kidding. I People think that I'm exaggerating and then I will go to put on, you know, their sunglasses or whatever that just falls off my head. And if I put on, not just because I don't have any hair, but if I put on a hat, I need to have an extra small. If they don't come in sizes, usually I, I'm not going to get it unless it's like a floppy hat for the summer. Anywho, these Ray-Bans are perfect for me. And this never, ever happens. 
They are the perfect size for my tiny little head. And I love the colors of them. I love the mirrored front. And then the side, if you could see, it's like brown and then the nude. And then it's two-tone on the front. The color is just, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. And I love that they actually fit my face. Do I look like a little bug right now? I'm okay with it. I like insects. Insects are cool. One more favorite before I get into my fails. I have to talk about it. I have to talk about it. I know, I know, I know, but I have to talk about it. Sonia G. Oh, this is beautiful. The craftsmanship is amazing. This is her brush holder. So obviously I put all, not even all, I have more, but let me count how many I have in here right now. And if, as you can see, I have room to put more in here. But let me just tell you how many I have of her brushes in the Sonia G brush holder. All right, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 face brushes, or technically 11 face brushes. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 eye brushes in here. That's a lot, and I have room for more. I just took out to show you guys the liner, this one. So, I mean, that was in there as well. Let me take that out so I don't get anything on <laughs> my other brushes. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna take out the brushes so that I can properly show you just how beautiful this is. This is handcrafted from Walnut. I love that this was handcrafted instead of mass produced, machine made. I love her emblem on the front of it being like stamped, so beautiful. I love the nail heads. It is so smooth. It's, I mean, it's so smooth. You will not understand the beauty of this unless you see it in person. And this is the inside right here. These little dividers on the inside will move. So you see, you just take your finger and you can move them around. See, move it like that. And then at the bottom right down here, there's like a piece of suede so that you don't end up scratching the bottoms of your brushes. Just the detail, the detail in this is so lovely. I mentioned it on my post about this on Instagram, but I have to shout out Beautylish again because the customer service, so, so, so good. I was having troubles with getting this on the site, so I went ahead and called. And I placed my order over the phone and they were so kind to me and they always are. They're just, they're amazing. And I'm so glad that I got this. When she comes out with more, I am definitely going to purchase another one. I am so happy with this. Somebody mentioned though, and I think this is a really good idea to have something go over the top. And I'm going to see if I can kind of get Puffin to make something for me, like an acrylic thing to go right over the top of it. Even if it covers the entire thing, just kind of slide right over top, protect the box and protect the brushes. I'm going to see if he can make something like that for me because I really like having my Sonia G brushes in the holder. Oh, I love it. It's, it's so beautiful. It's, it's seriously, it's so beautiful. You just don't understand until you see it in person. For my one and only fail, initially I was not gonna have this be a fail because it was just something that didn't work for me. And I thought that the product in of itself is good because it looks so beautiful on the skin. It lasted so nicely, but it made me itch. I, was, I had some kind of weird sensitivity to it. And then I kind of got this burning kind of sensation as well as just absolutely feeling completely dehydrated. And I hate to say it, but the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation, I let you guys know that I wouldn't be using it anymore. I thought it was not good for my skin type. I had a few comments talking about how hyaluronic acid can actually you know, pull the moisture out of your skin. You need to put something on top of it to pull moisture into the skin. Done a lot of research on that. I understand all this now and it definitely makes sense. But I thought, you know, I have a dehydrated skin type. I'm combination dehydrated and sensitive. My mom is dry. So I thought that I would let her test it out, try a little patch test first, make sure that you're not sensitive to it, that type of thing, and then use it. Well, I gave it to her and like the first two to three days, she was in 
love with it. It looks so good. I kept calling her. She's like, it looks so nice. She doesn't have to set it with any powder or anything like that. She said it lasts all day long. And she said it was not giving her any kind of dry issues. So I thought all was good, you know, and then I think it was the fourth day. Uh, she ended up having a little bit more of a reaction than I did. So initially it started off nice for her and then her skin started to feel a little drier and she said she started to feel a little itchy and she used it again and she got that burning sensation and she actually ended up with a few spots that are definitely a reaction. So I just want to let you guys know that I had some issues with this and my mom had major issues. I felt so bad. I was like, I was excited at first because it was working. I was like, oh, you like it? Okay, great. And I was going to let you guys know in an update. But now I just want to let you guys know here that I love By Terry, but this foundation is just, it's just not it. It looks gorgeous. It lasts all day. The coverage is really great, but please be careful. Please be careful if you are sensitive, if you're dehydrated, or just if you have any kind of issues with your skin, just be careful. I just wanted to make sure you guys know that I had issues and my mom had far worse issues. And like I said, I feel really guilty. I'm like, dang it, I'm not giving her anything else that ever does not work out for me. <sighs> but anywho, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites and fails. Let me know down below. What is something you've been loving for the month of March and something that mm, maybe you just didn't really get along with? Remember to stay safe and stay healthy. Bye guys.